In related news, the Attorney General's office is also moving for dismissal of Superintendent John Fernandez's $7 million lawsuit. This follows attorneys Gary Gumatautau and Doug Moylan's motion to dismiss as well, which was filed last week. The AG's office is representing the Guam Education Board as a whole, while Gumatautau and Moylan are representing the six named current and former board members in their individual capacities. Assistant Attorney General Ken Orcutt says in this current motion for dismissal that Fernandez's claims must have more merit than just a sheer possibility that the board acted unlawfully. In addition, Orcutt points to governors or Gov Guam's sovereign immunity, noting that because the board falls within Gov Guam, it cannot be sued under the law. Gumatautau and Moylan made similar arguments in their motion to dismiss on behalf of the individual board members. But they're arguing the same thing that the government of Guam is sovereign, and each one of the board members, and the board itself is sovereign because it's part of the government of Guam, and then each board member acting in their official capacity is not a person under Section 1983's definition which the same thing is sovereign immunity. Oh, you, can, you can't sue the sovereign without the sovereign's permission. So far, no upcoming hearings have been scheduled in the case.